I'm here in the ballroom of the Student Center at Eastern Michigan University. We're selling up, setting up for our National Day on Writing celebration. It's 8 to 25 a.m. People are going to start coming at 9. We've been here since about 7, setting up. So we have lots of events and activities in the ballroom today. We have about 70 volunteers helping us out, and we're expecting about 2,000 people. The National Day on Writing. Thrilled. I'm here for the whole day on purpose. Excellent stations here at the EMU celebration of the National Day on Writing. This is our first station, Roving Reporters. Uh, I'm Ben and I'm doing a life literacy map. <laughs> yeah. So what is that? It's a bunch of drawings that are about my like life as a writer and reader. Cool. Yeah. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm leading the life maps. Um, life maps are basically pictures of significant moments of reading and writing in your life. And you draw that moment, sometimes you label it, sometimes you draw little arrows to show first this happened and then this happened. But basically, you just draw. Cool. Good creative expression. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> National Day of Writing celebration has started. Uh, our provost is here, and I'm going to go interview him in a moment. So I'm here talking to our provost, Jack Kay. Jack, why don't you wave? Hello. And I'm um, the Office of International Students. Great. We are so glad that you're here. So tell us what the Office of International Students is doing today. We have um, two students that are um, translating names um, for our students and showing them how they're written in Korean and Sinhalese, which is the language of Sri Lanka. Fantastic. And Jack, tell us about how you're enjoying the day and sort of what you think. We know you're new here, so we won't put you on the spot and ask you too many hard questions. <laughs> no, I've been so impressed that at 9 in the morning there are this many people sitting at tables and writing about all kinds of different things. It's an exciting day. It's just great. We're so glad you're able to come. Your names and what you're doing. Bobby Tucker. I'm making a six-word memoir. Cool. I'm Sam Bay and I'm doing a six-word memoir too. Ben Bursma also doing a six-word memoir. Excellent. Have you started yet? No, no, just got here. <laughs> okay, are you excited about being here for National Day on Writing? Excellent, yeah. we are very glad to have you. Six more, no more. Cool. I'm Sam Bay and I'm doing a six word memoir too. Ben Bursma also doing a six word memoir. Excellent, have you started yet? No, no. just got here. <laughs> okay, are you excited about being here for National Day on Writing? Excellent, yeah. we are very glad to have you. Now I'm talking to Dave, Dave, what's your last name? Rogers. Dave Rogers, who works for Apple Computer, one of our National Day on Writing sponsors. So Dave, what are you doing when you're out here? Well, when we're out here, we're trying to get students to bring their works so we can take pictures of their works and put it on the National Day of Writing website itself. So it's open to the community. Excellent. So EMU has created our own National Day on Writing website that is linked to the National Gallery of Writing. Absolutely. And we are very excited about having people look at the submissions that are being contributed. How many people do you think have been in there to contribute their work? Wow. I mean, me personally, it's been probably 10 or 12 people, but in there, I mean, there's seen a lot of people. So Like hundreds? Well, not hundreds as far as uploading, but, but we still have a lot of day left. Yeah, so. yeah. It's only 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So that's great. Well, thanks for your help, and we're Thank so happy Apple is sponsoring this event with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. So here it is, 11 o'clock in the ballroom. So there's probably about 120 people here, people doing different kinds of National Day on Writing events. I see our Vice President for Marketing, who's one of our big, big um, contributors and supporters for this event. We'll try to get an interview with him. So lots of action and activity, people doing all kinds of things. I see different instructors. Over there in the corner, let's see if I can zoom in. Our University Writing Center is doing workshops on the hour, so it looks like the next one is Strategies for Successful College Reading. Then over in this corner, over here, we have the National Day on Writing Cafe. So I see some people enjoying some cookies and refreshments there. Different writers doing all kinds of activities. It's great. This is Ted Katulish, Vice President of Marketing here at Eastern, who has been absolutely instrumental in helping us get ready for National Day on Writing. So Ted, tell us about the kinds of things that you write every day. I write a variety of things every day. 
I write emails, I write uh, text messages, I write marketing plans for the university. Like the story. one that you helped us write for National Day on Writing, in fact. Just like that one. Excellent, excellent. And Ted, did you do some of the National Day on Writing, activity, act, National Day on Writing activities when you were in the ballroom looking around? I did not, but I noticed a lot of great writing going on and I did read a lot. So reading what did you read? Most important. I read a lot of the comments that were posted on the board about why people write and was generally moved by the honesty. That is fantastic. Excellent. So, Ted, one of the things that we've really appreciated working with you over these years is the way that you help us think about writing and kind of the discussions that we've had about writing. Do you feel like, um, you know, you're learning things about writing? I mean, I know we're learning a lot about writing working with you and the kinds of interactions that we have. And I think the opposite is actually true. I learn a lot from writing and, and working with you and uh, just being around you about writing. Uh, it's clear that the strength of the university is our faculty and uh, both you and uh, Linda and Sue and Kathy are just outstanding. Well, we have learned a ton working with you as well, so we really appreciate it. Thanks, Ted. Thank you. This is Kathy Fleischer, co-coordinator of Yay. EMU's National Day on Writing Activities. Kathy, how is it going? It is beyond our wildest expectations. What's going so fabulously well? The energy in the room is wonderful. There are so many students here writing, there's faculty, um, there are all kinds of people who are writing and having fun with their writing. It's just wonderful to see. And what do you hope we will get out of this day? That I will get? No, we as a university. Oh, I hope that everybody's going to recognize how much fun writing can be and feel excited about writing because it really is a great thing to do. The creativity that's involved is great and Everybody's having a good time. And we'll talk more about that when we're on the podcast later today. Later today. All right, thanks. So what are you guys working on right now? I'm actually a volunteer. I'm over there with Campus Life. Excellent. But you're just sitting here chatting? I'm just chatting with my cup of coffee. Having a lovely cup of coffee yes. provided by Campus Life. Excellent. And what are you working on? I am um, finishing the last chapter to a children's story. Oh, cool. So you're doing the mi activity that's connected with 826 Michigan. Yes, but don't show my cover. Okay, what's the story about? Um, it's about Momzilla and her friend Champ and their evil plot to destroy the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, excellent. So you wrote the ending to that story? Yes, I did. Love it. And then you're going to take it to the uploading station, I hope? Yes. And have your, of course, you have your ending typed. Right. That's great. And what's your name, by the way? Morris. And what about you, other person at the table? Other person. My name is Quentin Daly. And what are you working on? I'm working on the same thing she is, about a children's book, and uh, it's going to have a great ending to it. Okay, what's the book about? It's about Momzilla, a mom oh. that is turned into a monster whenever she's angry, and she has a best friend. Uh, and they're trying to get PB&J, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, in some trouble. Okay, so you're writing the ending of that story. Yes, I recommend Excellent. It. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you.